to Technically Speaking. My name is Stephanie Turd, and I'm the Student Services Coordinator here at the Capital Area Technical Center in Augusta, Maine. Today I'm joined by Mr. Daryl Meadow. He is our Machine Tool and with Welding Program Instructor. Welcome. Thank you, Ms. Turgeon. Mr. Meadow, can you tell us what brought you to teach here at Capital Area Technical Center? Well, being in the trades for like 40 years, I've been able to run multiple different machines, be in different uh, programs uh, with safety and, and uh, programming and engineering and sales and all that. So I've hit all the aspects of the trade. And over the years, I've asked to do a lot of training of new hire. So my wife comes to me and says, you've done all this training, why don't you go into teaching and give back to the community? So that's what led me to come into teaching. That is awesome. All those years of experience that you're able to, you know, really share a lot of good information and experiences with our students here. Correct. That's cool. Now, I'm very intrigued by the um, machine tool trade. What's the most interesting piece you've ever had to create? Or Well, that's, that's uh, a good question. There's been a lot of different components I've made over the years, from uh, GE gas turbine engine parts that range from 10 tons to a, a, a piece of component that's like ounces in your hand. So the big parts take days to machine, other parts are mass produced. Um, it's hard to pinpoint. I've done tank parts, submarine parts. Being in the trade that long, I've done a wide variety of medical parts is a big, big industry for machining parts for that. Wow, sounds so interesting. Um, so what do you do when you're not here at school? That's a good question. Being in this type of trade allows you to go into a lot of different things. I'm into hot rods and motorcycles. So I have my own little machine shop and weld shop at home. So I make anything I want. If, if something I want from my hot rod that I can't find, I make it. Or I find a part that's not quite up to the quality that I want, I'll make it better. So that's the good thing. Being in this trade, even people in automotive, knowing the aspects of machining and inspection, when they get a part of it, rebuilding an engine, can help them identify things better. Oh yeah, it sounds like almost you're spoiled now that you know a, a lot of inside information and can make things even better, like you said. Exactly. That is, that is very cool. Um, what can a student expect if they take this program? Well, the, the best thing in this program is starting out with the basics. The basics is the best fundamental that you need for machining. A lot of these companies hiring CNC machinists, but you need to get the basics to start. I understand the geometry of cutting, different cutting tools, and, and how they work and how they feel. So doing a manual machine gives you that versus a computerized machine that does it for you. So coming into here, like I've had students come in wanting to be engineers. The best engineer is the one that actually has done some of the cutting and inspection. It gives them a better aspect when they become an engineer. So they've had the hands-on training. So, but in the trade, there are multiple avenues that you can go into besides machining. You can become a programmer, you can be an inspector, quality control. There's all kinds of different avenues, not just in machining, that this will lead you to. Oh yeah, sounds like it. Um, so what are the job prospects in this area? How's the job market in this area for? Well, everybody's machines? looking for, for a machinist, quality people, people that'll show up to work every day. Uh, the work ethics is what we try to put into this program as well. Anybody that's that's capable of learning, the learning process and show up, trainable. That's what they're looking for. They're not looking for a person that knows it all. They want somebody they can work with and train and bring along in their company. And so salaries, you can make a pretty good living. You can make anywhere from probably forty to seventy thousand dollars a year, depending on your expected your experience. And there's a lot of overtime. So they're always looking in this trade because of unique uh, expertise. You know, they're always looking, hey, can you work the weekend? Can you work extra hours? The days normally in a machine shop are probably around 10 hour days, anywhere from 410 to five. Um, that's general the hours. It's not a, 
uh, you know, eight to five, eight to three type job. There's a lot of hours involved, but you can make good money doing that. Oh, it sounds like it. it. Sounds like a lot of great opportunities in this program for students. I mean, you talked about students that want to be engineers, students that want to go on to school, students that want to go straight into work. Right. The other opportunity, which I did myself, is going into the, the, the our forces. They offer a lot of, you know, interesting things. They can, they, besides, you know, being your, uh, your trade, you're serving your country. They offer benefits, paying tuition to go on to school. That's what I ended up doing early on when I got out of high school. So that's an, uh, an avenue if you don't want to go on to college, or you're not sure what you want to do, you know, they offer a lot for you. I'm so glad you brought up the whole military option because you and I recently had a chance to learn more about the National Guard. It was an educator program. And then what did they do for us? Well, we got the chance to go in their Black Hawk helicopter and, and show us how they, the whole thing worked, the engineers involved into the process of just flying it. There's more than one person that goes into the technical side of flying the helicopter. Oh, definitely. But I thought it was the ultimate coolest experience to be up in that helicopter. Absolutely. And what an opportunity for a young person that, you know, maybe has... Um, Ambition to do something like that. Absolutely. There's um, a lot of different avenues to go in there to, to fly. I mean, gee, it was amazing to just hover over and see stuff. Um, it's just a great opportunity if, if you'd like to go that route. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Netto, for taking a few minutes out of your day today to talk to me about your program and all the... My pleasure. And anybody that wants to contact me for more information, I'm always around. You can Look at the website on, on the Guest of School website and just contact me and we can talk. Great. Um, thanks for that. Uh, definitely. Um, if you'd like more information, our telephone number is 207-626-2475 uh, and it can get you connected with Mr. Netto and learn more about the Machine Tool with Welding program here at Capital Area Technical Center. And thank you for watching. I hope if you like this episode that You'll subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss anything going on at Capital Area Technical Center here in Augusta, Maine.